it was a cat, but I didn't fully realize it was the size of it. My husband got a flashlight and went outside, and when it got up and moved, I just about jumped out of my skin to tell that it wasn't a regular cat. So they said that something obviously must have happened to mom, and that apparently the kittens had been living there for quite some time. Right, they were they were they were skinny, and there was a third cub that that didn't survive that they found dead. So um, yeah, they they weren't well nourished when they first got hands on them, and and uh, the person who saw them initially had, had seen them for over a day, I think, before the wildlife folks came out and 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 uh, brought them into captivity. I'm just, I felt pretty happy because I almost, and I didn't even actually really do anything except for, you know, pick up the phone, but it kind of felt like we rescued them. They came in and they had um, two kinds of parasites that were still fighting. So. Yeah. And, and that can happen very quickly when animals are down, you know, like they were on food consumption and health life. We don't know. We did a, a complete workup that included you know, x-rays, CT scan, MRI to try to find any sort of injury that she may have had. And we did CSF tap um, and, you know, have, have done a lot of ancillary testing to try to determine if she has a disease process going on, an infectious disease process or an injury. and. And I guess the good news is we didn't find anything that is indicative of those things. Mostly it's been um, trying to acclimate them to their surroundings, which is kind of tough at first. They're usually very scared. Um, they like to hide. So trying to bring them out um, and up to us is usually the first step. Shutter Sock Music. Shutter Sock